Hey everybody, it's the Critter Dude, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I will be doing a little bit of a fish update. So, to start off with, this is my 125 gallon tank. And it has had a few changes over the last couple months that I haven't made a video. So first, I don't know if I actually have shown these fish before on my channel in a previous video, but I had a large male black convict cichlid and a large Cynodontis featherfin catfish in this tank that unfortunately passed away a few weeks ago. It was kind of random and I tested my water and my water was fine so I don't know what that was about but I am planning on getting new ones to grow up. I do want some more convict cichlids to try and breed again and I want to get another featherfin catfish to raise up for this tank as well. And actually I don't know if I've actually shown the blood parrot in this tank in a video before. But you all have seen the blood parrot if you've been watching my channel. It was in one of my other tanks. I felt like the 60 gallon that it was in was getting a little too small for it. So I decided to go ahead and put it in this tank. And so far, he has been doing really good in here. And I actually had two blood ferrets at one time in my 60 gallon. There was another one with this one, but since they were both rescues, one of them actually, before I got it, had a deformity with his swim bladder. And eventually it ended up getting real bad and it passed away. And I think this cichlid is the only cichlid that I haven't shown in a video yet and I believe it is a red devil cichlid it could be a Midas cichlid they are very similar but I believe it is a red devil and it's been buddies with my blood pair ever since I added it in this red devil has been in here for a couple months now I actually rescued it out of a small tank from somebody that was moving so I decided to take it in it was free and I quarantined it for a couple weeks and then I added it into this tank and it's been nice it's never been aggressive according to the people that I got it from and it's never been mean in here either other than a little bit of chasing here and there but all the fish kind of chase each other that's just what cichlids do but he's been doing really good in here the next update is I got some more decorations in here there is a couple pieces of driftwood there are these cichlid caves and there's a couple more cichlid caves over there and I think that's all that I've added this decoration and then the rocks and the driftwood those were all given to me the decoration right here was actually given to me by the people that gave me the red devil it was his hiding spot in that tank but obviously he doesn't use it because he's out swimming around in here. And then the driftwood and rocks were given to me by a friend that was getting out of fish and let me have the driftwood and rocks out of his tank. So I have those that I put in here. And I got them along with some fish that I will talk about in a minute and so far besides the two fish that died everything has been doing really good in this tank and now about the new fish so 
You actually might not even be able to see much of the new fish that are in here because they are hiding. But I am going to try and get some clips. Maybe even underwater clips as I lift up the hides to get them to come out to show you. But I am first going to name all of the fish that I added in here. And it's going to be kind of hard to show the new fish that I added in here because they are all catfish and like to hide up in the different hides. So here in a little bit I might actually maybe even do some underwater clips and lift up the hides so they'll come out for you to see them. And actually you can see one of their tails. So I'm going to try to whisk them all off. There are two Irwini catfish. One granulosis catfish or granulated catfish I think is the name. Then there is one driftwood catfish, one jaguar catfish, one Asian bumblebee catfish, and two striped Raphael catfish. And one of the striped Raphael catfish came with these other catfish, but the other one I actually had growing up in another tank, and I decided to put it in here because it's the same size as the one that I got with the other catfish, and it was doing good in here, so I decided to go ahead and put it in here too, and Raphael catfish will kind of buddy up together sometimes so I decided to put it in here too so they can be buddies and I think that's all the updates and changes that have been done to this tank now I'm going to do some underwater footage or I'm going to try to of uh, some of the catfish So now that you have all seen the catfish and I also did show some of the cichlids, I am going to move on to the next update. And this is the next update. And this is just a little 10 gallon aquarium that I put together a while back to grow up a few fish in. And it currently has four fish in it. The first fish in here is a two to three inch common pleco. Yes, I know they get big and I do have space for it. It will be upgraded from this tank here pretty soon and then it will go into a bigger tank from there and then eventually into my 125 gallon tank and then it will be upgraded from there to something else even bigger that I will show later on in this video. The next fish I have in here is a small 
sun catfish or eclipse catfish. It's about three to four inches long. And it's been doing really good in here. Again, it is a fish that does get big. I believe they get around 12 to 14 inches. So eventually it will make it into my 125 gallon. And the next fish in here is a juvenile black belt cichlid. And its name is Ninja. It's about two inches long and has been doing really good in here. But eventually it will go into my 125 gallon too when it grows up. And the last fish in here is a three to four inch pike cichlid. And I'm not 100% sure on the actual species of the pike cichlid that's in here because it doesn't really look like the species that it was sold to me as but we will see as it gets older and if it is the species that it was sold to me as it will probably get about 12 to 14 inches and again it can go in my 125 gallon and yes i do know that that would be a lot of fish in my 125 gallon but as some of the fish grow up in there they will have to be moved to other tanks or ponds and then it will free up some room when these other fish are big enough to go in there now i'm going to show the fish in here so this is the black belt cichlid this is the little pike cichlid and now I'm going to put a little bit of food in here to see if I can get the fish to come out for you to see. And those two fish that you see eating are the black belt cichlid and the pike cichlid. And the pleco and the catfish are probably both hiding up in the decorations. And I think that's about it for this tank. So here is my 29 gallon community tank. I have I think four Buenos Aires Tetras, four or five red eye Tetras, I think there's three black skirt Tetras and three white skirt Tetras. And then there are three platies. There's a red tail Dalmatian platy. There's a blue Mickey Mouse platy. And there's a bumblebee platy. And then I have a lavender grommy, I think is what it was sold to me as. It looks very similar to a gold grommy though, but a little lighter, I guess. And then I have a black shark minnow in here, which is actually related to a carp. And the black shark minnow will get pretty big. I believe I read that to get 18 inches. So it will get a big upgrade in the future when it grows. And it looks pretty gray now when it's small but it will turn jet black and be full black. Its tail will turn black and its body will be black and it'll be about 18 inches long as an adult. So that's pretty cool. And also in this tank, I have a bunch of little catfish. There is a upside down catfish. There is a banjo catfish. There is a striped Raphael catfish. There is two bumblebee catfish. And then there is this dwarf synodontus catfish I have in here. I believe is what it's called. And the dwarf synodontus catfish. 
I'm not 100% sure on the exact species because it was actually sold to me as a striped raphael catfish. I think it's called a petricola catfish or a cockatoo catfish or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure. So now I'm going to put some plates in so you can watch them eat and the catfish will come out. There's a bumblebee catfish. That's the Cenodontus catfish I was talking about. Let me see if I can zoom up. Right there. So if anyone knows what that is, if you could let me know down in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's a Cenodontus petricola, but I could be wrong. So that's my community tank. And this is a fish that I've had for a while and I don't think I've shown it on my channel before. But it is a baby flower horn cichlid. And I'm not sure what type of flower horn this is, as it was sold to me as a assorted flower horn cichlid. But from the coloring, it does look like it could be a lower grade red dragon. But I'm not really sure yet. And I'm kind of thinking it's a male due to the shape of the head. It looks like it's growing the nuchal hump that the males get. But I won't know for sure until it does get bigger because it is still pretty small. And this wild horn is currently in a 10 gallon half moon aquarium. And it's perfect for it right now, but I do know that it will outgrow this tank eventually and need to go into a much bigger tank, which I do have, and I will move it when it grows. And before you say anything about it not having any decorations, flower horns actually do best with no decorations. Many people actually keep them with no substrate in a bare bottom tank. But I did add some gravel to the bottom, mainly to help with places for beneficial bacteria to grow, to help the filtration process. But I haven't had any issues with the gravel, and if I ever do, I will take it out. But so far, it's been fine. Also, wild horns are a social fish, and they like to swim around a lot, and they don't really like to hide much. So even if given a hide, they won't really use it. So it's best to just have a open tank for them to swim around freely. And I think that's about it for this update. And I think that's all of the tanks I'm going to show in this video that are inside of the fish room. Now I'm going to go out of the fish room to show something else. Now I know the lighting isn't very good in here, but this is what I was talking about earlier in the video. So this is my 725 gallon pond. It is eight feet around and two feet deep, I believe. And for filtration, I am using a large trash can with PVC pipe returns. I have a large pump upping water into the trash can. The trash can is full of lava rock and some sponges, some carbon. There's some pillow stuffing, there's a lot of different media in the trash can that helps keep this pond crystal clear. And I also have four 400 watt heaters inside of the trash can to heat the water and keep it at a tropical temperature. 
And it might be hard to see, but right there are my three takus that used to be in my 125 gallon aquarium. This is where they ended up going. And all of the other fish besides my three red belly takus that I already had, all of the other fish came from a friend getting out of fish keeping. He gave me all of these fish out of his pond and he gave me the driftwood, the rocks, and all of the catfish that are in my 125 gallon that I showed earlier in the video with an exception of the striped Raphael catfish that's in the 125, the one that I had and then there was one he had that he gave me. So there's the two in, in the tank. And again, the lighting isn't very good in here so it might be hard to see the fish a little bit. Also, I have a mesh top on this pond to keep any of the fish from jumping out. I'm not going to remove it for the video because I've already had to remove it to do maintenance in here and I've had fish try jumping out. So I'm going to leave it on for the video. Maybe in the future I will try to do some underwater video underneath the mesh top in the water to get some underwater footage of the fish. The first fish I have is a black hot catfish or Walgo Microsongo I think is the name for it. And it does have a little bit of a nip tail but it is regrowing. I did add some stress coat in here to help it regrow its tail. I believe it was already like that when I got it. But nothing's been messing with it that I've seen. So I think it was a fish picked on it a while back and it's just now starting to peel up and regrow. And right here is a hybrid catfish. It's a red tailed catfish mixed with a tiger shovel nose catfish. And then I have my three red belly cockroos. And then I have a albino cockroo. I believe it's an albino red belly, but it could be an albino black belly, but I think it's just a regular albino red belly. I have a albino giant salami that's hiding up near the top. Over here. Might be hard to see. I have a flag tail protolotus or flag tail fish. It's right, right over there. Might be hard to see, but it's in there. And I have a Florida spotted gar. And it might be hard to see because he keeps zooming around, but I have two of these true Van Sisuelan strike type simplers. Now I'm going to feed them, and then I'm going to do the outro. Also, I almost forgot, everything in here besides my three red belly talkies that already have names, everything else needs names. They're all my monster fish, and they're all big and going to live a long time, so I think they all should have some names. So, let me know if you have any name ideas in the comments down below. Now I'm going to feed them.
Also, I plan on putting some rocks and maybe a couple bricks in here to make some kind of structure for the pipe cichlids and the big catfish to hide in. I just haven't done it yet because I'm still trying to decide on how I want to do it. Also, I need to add a little bit more gravel maybe in here. Or maybe move some from the front because it is a little thicker in the front than in the back. I'm just not sure what I want to do yet. But back there also where is always where they're at. So I'm not sure if, if they would even let gravel be back there because they're always pushing it around. So that's why I haven't really put gravel back there yet. But I may do it eventually. And I think that about wraps up this video. And I hope you liked seeing a few of my fish tanks and spawn. Now if you have any video suggestions for any upcoming videos, if you could, leave them down in the comments down below. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, if you could, also leave those down in the comments down below too. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take care.